Hi, I'm Rick Rowden, author of the Percy Jackson series. Percy Jackson is a young boy in New York City who finds out that his father is not dead the way he always thought. In fact, Percy's father is a Greek god, the god of the sea, Poseidon. That, of course, makes Percy a demigod, otherwise known as a half-blood. Half-man, half-god, and he faces a lot of trouble because of that. In the series, Percy has to face many Herculean challenges. In the first book, The Lightning Thief, he has to find a lightning bolt that's been stolen from the god Zeus, going all the way across the United States from New York to Los Angeles, facing many monsters along the way. In the second book, The Sea of Monsters, he has to sail into the ocean where all of the great Greek heroes used to sail, fighting monsters along the way to find the golden fleece that's been missing for hundreds of years. In The Titan's Curse, his best friend Annabeth is kidnapped by a titan, and Percy has to figure out a way to save her and also find out what's happened to the missing goddess Artemis. And finally, in The Battle of the Labyrinth, the newest book, Percy has to go down into the labyrinth, which now spreads underneath the entire United States to find out how his old enemy Luke is using it to invade various places in America. In the series, I have so many favorite characters, but my favorite god is actually probably Dionysus, otherwise known as Mr. D, the director of Camp Half-Blood. He's been grounded by his father Zeus for bad behavior, and he's forced to work at Camp Half-Blood, where the demigods train. Mr. D doesn't want to be there, but still, he's a very interesting character, and in spite of himself, he comes to think rather fondly of Percy and actually even help him on some of the adventures. My favorite anti-hero, uh, my favorite enemy, is probably Luke. He's a very conflicted character, the son of Hermes, who feels that the gods just don't pay enough attention to their children. And anyone who knows Greek mythology knows he's probably got a point. Will Luke turn out to be good in the end? Will he be twisted and evil right up into the final battle? Stay tuned and watch.